Welcome to our video on passive information gathering. In this video, we will explore the concept of passive information gathering and demonstrate how to use tools like Whois Lookup and Google Dorking to gather valuable data. So let's get started. As I mentioned in previous video about hacking techniques, gathering information is the first step in penetration testing or ethical hacking. Information gathering can be divided into two categories, active information gathering and passive information gathering. I am only talking about passive information gathering in this video. Passive information gathering is the process of collecting data about a target without directly interacting with it. This method allows us to gather information passively without raising any suspicion or triggering any alert. It is a valuable technique used by security professionals, researchers and even ethical hackers. One of the fundamental tools for passive information gathering is Whois Lookup. Who is a protocol that provides information about domain names including the registration details, contact information and more. By using Whois Lookup service, you can uncover valuable information about a target domain. Let's see a practical example of Whois Lookup can be used. Imagine we have a target website. I am using yahoo.com. By performing a Whois Lookup on yahoo.com, we can gather information about domain's owner, their contact details and even discover other domains associated with the same owner. This information can be useful for security assessment, investigating malicious websites or simply understanding in the infrastructure behind a website. For that, open your browser and type who is lookup. There are lots of websites available at the time. But I choose whois.com. The website is now open. You can search for the target domain, which in my case is yahoo.com. You can see all the details including registration information, registration, expiration date, contact details and more. You can see that there is no contact email displayed here because many sites pay a amount to who is providers to hide their information. But in most of the case, you are able to find it. The Who is tool in Kali Linux is another way to find the Who is lookup. For that, open terminal and type Who is with your target domain name and enter. You can see all the details of Who is lookup. It also contains all the details like registration, expiration dates, contact information, uh, mobile numbers, etc. Another powerful tool for passive information gathering is Google Dorking, also known as Google Hacking. Google Dorking involves use advanced search techniques to uncover sensitive information that is publicly available but not easy to accessible through regular search queries. Let's dive into a practical demonstration of Google Dorking. For that, open browser. Site, Intext and Intitle are few examples of common keywords used for Google Dorking. Let's learn each of them. Site is used to extract every page that contains our target domain. Here I search site 
with my target domain name. Here it is yahoo.com. After searching that, you can see every page that uses our target domain name. Like this, you can extract every page that contain information related to our domain name. So next is in, in title. This keyword is used to extract a specific keyword from title. For here I type PDF. You can see every page or every URL it contain PDF. So instead of PDF you can type any keyword like PHP so on. So at that time you can extract the details specifically through this keyword. So next is next is in text. It is also used to gather information for a specific word. Here I search for password. Now you can see the every page it contain password. Like that we can able to extract some special things related to our target domain using the index. So these are the common dorks used by security researchers. Now I will share you a very helpful site for Google Dorking. For that search exploit db and open the first website. And you can see Google hacking database. On that you will get a lots of Google Dorks for gathering a different kinds of information. These are created by different security researchers. If you want to find a PDF related to target domain, just search for PDF on that. You can get the docs for searching that PDF contents. Like that, there is lots of docs available for different type of information. This will help you to gather more information to related to our target. By combining the information gathered through Whois Lookup and Google Dorking, we can obtain a comprehensive picture of our target. The data collected from Whois Lookup help us to understand the domain ownership and infrastructure, while Google Dorking allow us to uncover additional details that may not be easily accessible through regular search queries. That concludes our video on passive information gathering. We hope you found it informative and gained a better understanding of how, the good, how to gather information passively using who is lookup and google dorking. Thank you for watching and until next time stay curious and stay